Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'm here to teach you how to install WordPress on your Mac using MAMP and two other programs. So the total programs that you're going to need to require is three programs, and the first step is to download WordPress from the WordPress site by heading over and typing in wordpress.org slash download slash on your URL bar. All links will be in the description, so you don't need to worry about typing it in. Next step, you click on download, and you want to download the WordPress 3.5 or the newest version. Next step, you can head over to www.mamp.info or info, and then on the home button, you're going to click on the download now, MAMP, not MAMP Pro, just download it now. It's about 150 megabytes, and it should be easy. Remember, all links will be in the description, so don't worry. Next thing you're going to need is in the App Store, so why don't we head over and open up App Store. Then in the bar right here, you're going to type in Text Wrangler, it's like this, Text Wrangler. And it should look like this, really easy text wrangler, just like a W with diamond, and that's it. Download that, type in your password, and register it. Once that's done, what you're going to need to do is, of course, once you download WordPress, you can head over on your desktop. It's going to self-extract for you once you double-click on the zip file. Just click on, double-click on WordPress. And the thing that you're going to need here is you're going to write, is you're going to just select all, and you're going to command C, copy, and now you can minimize that. And once you open up, once MAMP is installed and everything, you're going to head over to the Applications folder, MAMP, and you're going to open up htdocs right here. Click on Open in Finder, and this is where you're going to add your sites. So this is the important part. So to create a new site, what you're going to do is you're going to go to New Folder, and you're going to create a new site. So in this case, I'm just going to name mine uh, Video. Or oh, actually, I'm going to make it mine HD Alex Films. And the reason why is because I screw this one up, so I'm gonna have to delete this one. Let me just delete this one. Um, whoops, sorry. So once that's done, I can just go to uh, get info and rename it it's films. Once that's renamed, I can close that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open up that folder and you're gonna paste the uh, 19 items that you copied from WordPress, just like this. And then uh, you're going to just switch over to the text view, and you're going to modify only one file, and it's really easy to modify. It shouldn't be that hard. But the, before you do that, what you want to do is you want to open up MAMP. So head over to Applications, MAMP, and Launch MAMP from there. Click Launch MAMP, not Manch Pro, MAMP Pro. And what you're going to need to do is it's going to open this up. Uh, what First, I want to go over the preferences with you. Uh, you can go to Preferences and the Start Stop. So you want to make sure all these are checked, and the Start Page URL is just default. Click on ports. Uh, these are regular ports that they put for you, but you can click. You have to. You're gonna have to click reset. Man ports normally that had that worked for me, and then uh, you can make your own MySQL port 8889, and then set default. And you might want to do those. The PHP uh, PHP version uh, 5.2 uh, 5.4.4 Xcache. Uh, the Apache should be the same. Just click OK on these. What you can do is start servers should start automatically. It shouldn't take that long. Just click Start Servers, and uh, the both green lights on the both uh, bars should be open. Next up, what you can do, what you're gonna have to do, is you're gonna need to head over back to the HD Alex Films one as your folder in your website, and you're gonna need to modify the file that says wp slash config slash sample dot php. You're gonna right click on this one. You're gonna click on um, Open with, and you're gonna want to click with text text Wrangler. And this is the easiest. What you're going to need to do is these you need to modify these three names. And you're going to type in, remember, because they give you, before you do this, but what you want to do is you want to head over back to Firefox or your internet browser. And you're going to need these applications. You're going to go to PHP My Admin. And you're going to create a new database. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to Databases, Create Database, and you're going to name this one HD Alex Films. But before I start with that, I'm going to name mine HD Alex Films, um, then click create. Okay, database already exists, but I'm, what I'm going to do is just name this one. Click create. It's going to name the HD Alex Films one there. And what you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to head over to PHP My Admin or uh, start. And these are it's going to assign you a user and a password automatically. So root root and your uh, database name, which is HD Alex Films one. So back back to the map back to uh, text strangler. You're gonna need to enter your database. So you want to change this part to HD Alex Films one. 
and your username root and your password root. Okay, now once that's done, you can just click on uh, OK. What you're going to need to do is just a difficult part. You need to go to File and uh, Save As. And you're going to save it in the same directory, but what you're going to save it as is you're going to save it wp slash config.php. Click Save. You can exit out of Text Wrangler. What you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to, well, once you're here on MAMP right here, on your thing, you can, do, you can go highlight and you're going to need to type in your URL, so your database name. So it's going to be localhost uh, colon 8888 or your port number. It's already there for you. Slash and you want to type in your database name. <coughs> HD Alex Films 1 slash. Click OK. Oh, whoops. I didn't, I'm not supposed to add the slash at the end. Huh. Wait. Let me just go. There we go. So once this is here, uh, you need to type in that. So once you're going to cite title, you're going to name it HD Alex Films. Of course, user admin, or you can name it whatever you want. And your password, you can already type it in once. So oh, whoops. So your email, this is my email that people contact me at. You guys can contact me if you have any difficulties or just post a comment. And if you want your searches, search engines to index this site or find this site, you can check that. If you don't want it, you can uncheck it, but I'm just going to check it. Click install WordPress. And it's going to say username, HD Alex Films, password, your chosen password. Now you can click OK, login. And you're going to log in, of course, with the HD Alex Films and your password that you have chosen. Click Remember Me and click Login. Now you're going to see on your dashboard your device, your um, thing has been added on here. And, of course, you have your URL in the front right here and ready to go. Anyways, guys, you're done, guys. And just to uh, stop or if you're going to restart your computer, what you want to do is you want to make sure you stop your servers before you start. Because that, or if you're going to, like, not edit, you want to stop them if you, because people can't edit for you. But what you want to do is you want to always make sure you stop your servers after you're not using it. Anyways, guys, this has been a tutorial on how to um, install WordPress on your computer on a Mac. Anyways, guys, bye, guys. This is Alex from HD Alex Films.